Welcome back to your day. The kids are off to school and sure they had some first day jitters, but what about the folks who had tears as their kindergartner hopped on the school bus for the first time or that last big hug before their child disappeared into a college dorm room? Amber with Rowe, therapist at Milan Christian Counseling has some help for parents suffering from their own version of back to school anxiety. Good morning. Good morning. We this were just talking like our kids are going to be there before you know it. It happens in a blink of an eye, doesn't it? Yes, I was going to say, this is something that I can definitely relate to about you know, the fall is just such a major time of change. Whether I can barely remember it, it feels so long ago, but whether you're dropping your kid off to the first day of preschool or watching them head into their final year of high school or college or starting college. This can be an incredibly emotional time and difficult to process. Absolutely, you've got some help for us this morning. And we're talking about using the triangle. What exactly is this? So this is my favorite tool of cognitive behavioral therapy. It's based on the awareness that our thoughts and our feelings and our behaviors are so connected and taking time to identify and explore and consider ways to redirect and reframe so you can be your best most excited most productive self so let's start with thoughts what are some of the things that we might be thinking right now so, so many parents, whether they're sending off their, their four-year-olds or sending off their 18-year-olds, it can be a time of consuming thoughts of, I don't know what's next. I don't feel a lot of control. I, I, don't, I don't know. It can become a time of considering of, I don't know, but I do know that there are going to be new experiences for them and for me. And, and that leads into our feelings of recognizing that, yes, I feel a little out of control. I feel a little sad, but I can also find hope that they and us are going to have new experiences. And I am hopeful that they're going to be positive and impactful. Yeah, and they'll, they'll, you know, be excited, you know, for, let's be excited for our kids, you know, <laughs> they're going to be excited, they're going to have all these new opportunities and new experiences, and then that leads to behavior. So we have the thoughts, we have the feelings, and then we have the behavior. Mm -hmm. So there can be, especially those first days of, I just want to sit on the couch or sit at my desk <laughs> and feel a little sad that my kids are getting big and and I don't quite know what to do with my new routine or uh, these new amount of hours or opportunities. But taking time to consider of, well, we're all getting new experiences. We are all have a, a hopeful year of school ahead of us. Maybe I'll set a new goal for work or I'll find a new hobby or especially find creative ways to connect with your children, whether it's sending really cute notes in their lunch boxes, <laughs> their packages to college, making sure that part of that connection of, of the thoughts of new opportunities and the hope that comes with that and being motivated to maintain that connection to yourself and also to them. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm fairly far removed from college at this point, but I do remember enough that parents, those care get, those care packages go a long way. They really do. And those students open them up and they're like, oh, mom made me cookies or mom sent me a new sweatshirt or blanket or some cozy socks or, you know, those yeah. are the best things. <laughs> Absolutely. So just one thing that you could do to, you know, re you know, focus in a positive way instead of being like, I'm just going to sit here on the couch or I'm just going to be sad. So um, great advice for us this morning. And Amber, let's just hope that our kids, it's going to, time's going to slow down. It's going to slow down, right? <laughs> I, I am sorry to say, but you're going <laughs> to reframe that because it, it does not. It doesn't. But it goes fast. 
but hopefully they'll be out there, your kids will be out there living their, their best lives in a very busy, very hectic schedule. <laughs> yes, and we'll be, we'll all be proud of our kids. So uh, great tools and great advice this morning. Amber, thank you so much. Yeah, have a good day. You too, take care. Well, coming up next on your day, it's gonna be another awesome music-filled weekend in Toledo. When we come back, plenty of events to choose from in your hey, 419 Weekend Rundown. Sorry. Pro Medica Live in Cutwater Spirits presents the Superheroes of Disco.